Yeah. And what is mode field diameter? Okay, mode field diameter is simply the size of that beam or spot of light that travels through the fiber. So the fiber has a core, which is designed to be a waveguide. And so the light or the photons travel through that core and are guided by that core. But this will leak into the cladding a little bit as well. And there's a, a physical diameter to that uh, light field, or it, we call it an electric field in, in, the, in the trade. So that electric field has a, has a diameter. Uh, and that diameter is, is what controls the jointing loss. If you're, if you're jointing two fibers with dissimilar diameters, you'll get a loss. If they're the same diameter, you don't get a loss. It's as simple as that. But a manufacturer is not able to manufacture fiber or every fiber to have the same diameter, at least for the mode field. So there's a distribution of diameters that we need to uh, take account of when estimating what our typical splice loss would be. And to get those estimations, the manufacturer needs to know on every fiber he produces what the MFD is. When it goes into the cable, it doesn't matter. It doesn't change. You can bend the fiber, the MFD doesn't change. That's sort of fixed by where it exits the fiber. Um, so it's, it's a parameter frozen at the time of birth, so to speak. Um, and it'll remain that parameter for the next 25, 30 years uh, during the operation of the cable. So it's, it's important, but it's not something to worry about as a, a user of the fiber or even a manufacturer of a cable. He, he gets the data from the supplier. He may want to test it during incoming inspection, but it's not something you want to test on a daily basis, that's for sure.